Yes, absolutely. Yes, that's perfect. Hello to everyone, and such a an honor to be part of this good event and give my love to, from Turkey to brother country, India. And that's uh, my first time experience to show my uh, presentation and knowledge about gamification to Indian community. And hopefully it won't be last. <laughs> so let me share my screen firstly. And I'm going to start with uh, presentation. Can you able to see my slides at the moment? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Let me put because I need also chat part two. So yeah, this is all about me. Let me introduce myself very quickly. And I am actually educational technologies in Blaze based in Turkey, in Istanbul. And I'm lecturing in Bakshi University and about game design and gamification. And also maybe you heard about GameFet. Uh, I am just putting the, our website in, in the chat box. Um, the GameFet is International Gamification Federation, which is a non-profit organization to improve the gamification knowledge all over the world. And we are also uh, organizing some event called Gamification Hackathon, Gamification Meetup. And also um, our uh, chair, uh, Pete Jenkins, is organizing Gamification Europe Summit too. So I'm going to give some more detail about that too in my next slide. As you can see, this is my university. This is one of my uh, presentation. And this is how we start our organization, for example. We, we start also uh, start our organization with Bubble. A match in front organization. So we are doing this kind of events in Turkey too for improved game gamification knowledge. And probably you can able to see me in this picture and in a right, just right of me, there's a yeah. guy called Yukai Cho. So he was in Istanbul last year. So we are in, inviting people, inviting uh, experts to the Turkey and organizing with these volunteers uh, with our event. So let's start my presentation with this. Anyone experienced this gamify ice cream experience? If you ever yes. visited yes. Turkey, especially in Istanbul, this is how we give uh, actually ice cream to the people. This is a very gamify experience and it is very fun. And this is what we call in gamification, how you sell an ice cream with the game mechanics. So this is a Turkish gamification, let's say it this way. So I'm going to ask, um, so everyone see my slides, but uh, this is a very important part of uh, my slides. Uh, Plato said, if you play one hour with a person, you better know him than from a year of talking. So we don't have a one hour, but I am going to ask you, please, this is a, this is a, photo of uh, a professional photographer based in Amsterdam called Philip Toledano. He just takes some picture of people who are playing games. Okay, so please text to the chat. What is the emotion as you see right now this from lady? Just one word. Fun, fun comp like that. Happy, cool, excitement, happy. Happiness, that's all positive, excited, excitement, joy. That's good, that's good. Hype, cool. Yeah, well, this is all actually what we expected from games, right? This is not a surprising. What about the second one? Excited, yeah. Astonished, woo, amused, yeah. Surprised, oh my God, yeah. These are also shocked. These are not two positive things, right? These also maybe it could be negative feeling too. What about the third one? They're all playing the same game, by the way. They're all playing the same game, not the different games. Ouch, <laughs> that was good. Uncertain, damn. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, that's, that's the... That's the best part, I think. I'm gonna kill you. I'm right after you. Yeah, puzzle. They're, these are not too positive too, right? What about this look, good looking guy with glasses? Maybe I need this kind of glasses, I think. Maybe not hair, but yeah, I could have that glasses. 
um, yeah, entertainment, yeah, excited. Again, positive, right? Funny. Yay, that's good. This is the last one. I don't know how you became like this. I don't know the, what, what kind of real life experience can make us like good, good looking like this, but uh, if you choose one word for this, naughty, gonna get you, <laughs> hungry. <laughs> that's cool. I will eat you, that was good. <laughs> I will eat you. <laughs> so, devilish, yeah. I mean, probably this guy has never experienced like this before. So let me show you this um, slides. Um, we call it octalysis. Um, if you think like games are motivate us always in positive way, you are wrong. Okay, um, games are motivate us both way, include the white hat and the black hat. If you open the curtain of game design you will see many things like scarcity, unpredictability, avoidance, ownership, living, winning, losing. These kind of things are very important. And if you are going to uh, dive into the game design and gamification domain, you have to focus like not winning, also losing too. We call it black hat gamification. And as you can see, the people face, you know, they are very cheerful, but they are very scary. Let me let me pass this bridge, let me build these things, let me scare, then yes, I did this, yes, I did this. This is, this is very important for us because the people, it is very actually uh, terrifying. And if you read the book uh, called Thinking Fast and Slow from Daniel Kahneman, uh, people are more motivated what they lose, not win or gains, okay? If you lose something, it will make you more motivated. So this is very terrifically, but it is very important for us. Think about the badges, only badges. If you win that badges, it motivates one times. But if you lose that badge, it will be motivate four times for you, okay? So we always think about this, uh, not only winning things. Gamification, gamification is not only positive things, but it's all around mixing the, all motivations. This is the big part of uh, Yukai choice model, uh, but maybe you can not right now. And we are not going to choose only game mechanics. You can see the more than 100 game mechanics. And if you Google it, you will see more, more of that, those two, but I'm not going to say you use challenge, use point. Think about positive and negative behaviors, like meaning, accomplish, social influence, scarcity. You have to focus on this white hat and black hat, very game balanced, okay? So let me introduce you and the explanation of gamification. And as you can see, um, the left part of things is gaming. Right side of my screen is all about gamifying, okay? And these are totally different, different actually. The left one, the game called Farmville. Anyone play before? Probably you can remember the Farmville. Yeah, cool. And maybe you can remember the farm wheel using only seven, let me say it again, seven game mechanics, only seven game mechanics. And this is the reference from the Coursera course from Kevin Verba. And he explained all these game mechanics. What is game mechanics? What is the, what is the continue to the games? Okay, you can earn badges, you can level up. You can see what you are with your friends at the leaderboard. You can challenge to depth it. This kind of things, what you improve and continue to the game, we call game mechanics. But it's all happening in the game, if you think about gaming. But if you put these game mechanics to the real life, like a farmer, that's the reason why I choose these slides. Not only a screen. It has to be happening in the real life. It has to be increased sales. It has to be decreased the test period. It has to be learning end of the game mechanics. Okay. If it's happening in the real life with these game mechanics, these game design techniques, it becomes gamification. And uh, as you can see, gamification mostly looking like this, not like two playful screens, not like uh, farm wheel, but also right side has we call it swarm, and for square is the old name. 
you can see many game mechanics on there too, like avatar, leaderboard, challenge, count, count times. Yeah, it has got game mechanics, but, but the games continue with the real life existence. So gamification terms, using game design methodology to solve real life problems. You have to focus on the real life problems. And these problems are need to be solved with these game mechanics. And it is not too complicated, okay? This is how we started to eating in this life. Our mothers are the first gamification designers, okay? Anyone remember this time? What was that? Is it plane? Flying spoon? <laughs> the airplane. So, airplane, yeah. So if you, it's all over the world. I mean, it, from Australia to America, every mother, not, they are not playing a game in there, right? If we ask the mother what you are doing there, they will replace you to, we are eating with game, okay? They are not playing Lego. They are not playing Monopoly. They are not running at each other, you know? They are eating with game. This is what we call gamification. So I'm going to share a couple projects and theories uh, from what I learned from my fifth year of gamification expertancy in Turkey. First of all, everyone think about gamification is all about points and badges. And we need, we need that from every project. I mean, include the very basic project like um, increase the steps, increase the sales, this kind of step. Uh, but it is not. So game, when you try to gamify a person, you have to talk with them. Guys, we call it persona. Who is your target player? And what is their emotional status? And what is their motivational drive? Okay. So let me show you a couple examples of my questions. Like when you last time have a recognition from a manager and what was, which kind of reward do you like from your company? You know, if you ask everyone, what is the reward for you? You will answer back very differently. Okay. So we are going to talk with them and we are trying to understand their motivational status. Some of them focus on money. Some of them focus on status. Some of them focus on learning, learning, just only learning. Okay. So we are putting them to do some templates like this. Gamification persona. If you type in there, you got many, you will find many examples for like this, how they, how they motivate. Is there team player or is there the personal player? And we are putting some wireframe on in front of them. This is a wireframe uh, designed by me. And we use a team building gamification. And as, as you can see at the left, we put KPIs. You know, this is your team. Let's call it Agile Virgin team. They have a target. And we got a team, more than five guys. So what should a KPI to going make faster this bot? We are going to ask them and they will answer like, yeah, increase sales, making a phone call, answering. I mean, these kind of answering that improve our design to wireframe to mock-up. This is a mock-up. And we, as you can see, we put to the avatars, we put to the name and we put some KPI on there. So this is your team, this is your target, and this is what you choose to going more fast this bot to do reward island. I'm going to show you in soon. So why we ask people this guys, because gamification is not one solution for all. Let me repeat this sentence very clearly. Sorry about my English, maybe I'm talking too fast. Um, Gamification is not one solution for all, okay? Every company, every target audience, they have their own solution, like kit, you know, like kids. Some of them need some trucks, some of them like planes, some of some planes coming from Mars, you know, every kid's motivating a different way when they are eating. So Gabe Zickerman, this is the guy 
I'm most influenced in my gamification career, more than four or five years. He running the gamification.co, and this is the quote of, from him. I think gamification is a problem more like 70, uh, 75 percentage of psychology and the rest of his technology. So yeah, it is, we need technology, but it, this is, it is not too important. You have to ask first the target audience, then you have to build user interface and the other teams. The second one is the journey. So the first one was a person and people, you know, who is the target audience and how they engage the gamification. So it is very close to the user experience design, by the way. And yeah, let's start with the journey. For example, one of my project uh, from 2017, um, we put these posters to the, we didn't open the portal. This, it actually, it's a um, video portal and the learning content in there too, like e-learnings and virtual classes. So we didn't open the portal. We just find to let them to find their password, like deep T and the password was one, two, three, four. They need to find from the company. And we said, you know, if you enter to take the exile courses, you will be became the exile ninja. Just find your code some, from somewhere or something like that. Or if you, add some ideas to this portal. So you will become a Steve Jobs badges. So you can learn more about this portal too. So we need to be thinking about guys, how they entered the portal. As you can see, discovery part. Discovery part is very important. The gamification is not like this. Open that portal and play this game. No, we need some stories. We need to find them that in some discovery part, you have to design the discovery part that too. One of our discovery part from this, this dragon boat concept, we put this team to the coast and at left, as you can see, and we put to the reward island at right and some fog on top, fog. When in the beginning of month or middle, in the middle of month, how they KPI improve the teams, they can see each other and the fog is going to be more clear, then they can see their reward. So this is a, another part of journey. How we can motivate at the beginning, how we can motivate in the during, how we can be motivate this team at the end of, when they arrive to Ireland, then they can earn their badges. So also, there's another things like this. Uh, gamification is all about colorful screens. I mean, the colorful badges and yeah, we need colorful badges. We need, we, are, we have some colorful screens as just I show you. These are very gameful screens, but it's actually not just all about that too. We need a good flow design. This is the most common and um, let me say this way, the most popular game in the world, Minecraft, and it's not good looking, right? It needs some flow. The second theory is I'm going to share with you, um, and which is very important for everyone, not only including the gamification, but in your real life problems, like, I don't know, putting, uh, learning a language, putting off a vague, and I don't know, increase your uh, daily steps, some kind of things. Mihaly Chiksan Mihaly, uh, the, the all game design and gamification design and focus on this theory. Anyone heard about this flow theory before? Please um, type into chat and where you've heard about it and how you use it. That's good. That's good for me. That's good for me. So let me... Hello, Valerie, by the way, hopefully you're safe and I miss you too. <laughs> first time, that will be good for me, first time. Uh, it, I mean, when you enter the game design domain, um, you will hear his name very, very much, let me say it this way. And um, let me put this very clearly. There is, a, there is a Netflix documentary about game design called High Score, probably 
you have Netflix on India, hopefully. <laughs> There's no problem in uh, there too. In some countries because they're not able to enter Netflix. Uh, please watch this high score episode. And yeah, the all game design and game companies mention his name. Okay, Chiksan Mihaili. Yeah, please not high score documentary. They explain the Tetris, Street Fighter, this kind of digital games stories. Um, and yeah, they are all focused on this theory. The theory call, if you put these people to some mission, if it's too difficult, they frustration, too hard at top. If it's too easy, they bore too. <laughs> it's very hard to motivate people, okay? It's not, it hasn't got too hard, it hasn't got too easy. So if it's able to do them, they in flow chart and they need some more challenge to be capable. Yeah, Ant Anthony, yeah, it's very hard to ex uh, pronouncing his surname. Uh, and he says that the first challenge of winning money from game domain is my surname. He made this joke. <laughs> so, so the, the flow, flow, um, flow, flow is a good theory, but it's, it's, it's very uh, positive psychology and it's very theoretically. But Amy Jo Kim, um, I think you should put her name that too. Uh, she's a um, game design and game thinking expert living in US. And she explained this flow chart to the game domain like this, you know, you have to think about discovery part. Think about these behaviors, not selling something, but offering, make, make it smaller. Okay. All games are started with very small and easy and one behavior okay just only share something on the hashtag and just to take a selfie and just check in a store not selling something okay then onboarding onboarding needs to be like yeah it could be make sales drink a coffee buy a t-shirt but for a one time for a first time then you have to be put in habit building part let's make sales two, two or three days straight make lunch straight or also sales had that too. Make a combin or sell another product from this product. Kind of, you need to be put some habit building level and you need to be add this to the level design. Okay. And it is not stopping. It's if you play a game more than a couple months, you don't want to spend too much on time and you just wanted to be master on, on that. Decided to something on that or just... Uh, putting a map on that or helping people. That's, that's the reason why we can able to play a game more than 10 years or something, not putting something at the first time, but helping people or helping the game domain. So we need to think this player journey. And if you put this player journey to onboarding and habit building and mastery, you need to be thinking about these KPIs. Be first sailor of this day, or let's make a burger, burger faster. Let's find someone who didn't enter the game and make sales and share your sales with that too. This kind of think, game thinking help us to gamify our process, okay? And these are loops. Uh, loops are very important for us. And when we call about loops, let me introduce the guy called Near AI. If you want to work on digital gamification, and if you are going to be um, design a digital uh, product, you need to know this guy too. He's a, a student of BJ Fogg from Stanford University, which you will, if you watch the high score, you will meet them too. Uh, he is a guy, create a hook model. And this is what we call trigger. And after a trigger, as you can see, there is need some action, which is smaller. Then if you can able to do this action, then you can have a reward. It could be a, a screen, it could be badges or it's something. And you need the investment. I will do this tomorrow too. Investment is the hardest part. Actually, he didn't find this model. It, it trigger behavior and reward is very common. You know, the power of habits. The book name is Power of Habits. Um, Charles... Do he, if I'm not wrong, this is the, how human nature works. Trigger, like alarm, 
like, I don't know, in your car seat belt, something like that, trigger, you do something and you need some feedback. Yeah, stop the alarm or something. Like he invent investment part for digital. Investment is what we put someone else, you know, I like, uh, for example, a photo of uh, someone and someone like Depti takes me to back, that will be investment for us, me. Okay, so that's very powerful model that we are using in our hoop model. I'll, let me show some examples. For example, an insurance sold by you, just used by someone, by customers and he is very happy that you sold this insurance. This is an investment part, okay? This is why we think about this four side of in our gamification design. You just give a training, for example, like me today. And if some of you using these slides and give a lecture in India, if you send me some push notification as a reference, I will be very happy about that, okay? This is an investment that too. This is an investment of this period, for example. You just go to zoo, you just give some food to some panda. So th this is the weekend time. We are washing him, we are cleaning him. Why you don't want to watch him? This is another thinking of game thinking of a zoo application, okay? Investment, we need some investment. So think about this investment that too. The last part, of my presentation. Let me check my slide time period too. So everyone, every CEO, every manager says, hey, um, Arjan, I mean, gamification needs some budget more for cash and for reward, right? Um, actually, it's not. Um, let me introduce you interesting motivation. We are not playing Candy Crush for cash, right? We are not World of Warcraft or, I don't know, Tetris or Backgammon for cash, right? We are playing for games for interesting motivation. So I call it gamification secret sauce. And it has got three phases, autonomy, mastery, learning, like mm, chess, something like that. You know, you improve yourself in your that game. That's the reason why we invented progress bar. And the purpose, I don't know, beating the, your uncle in backgammon or um, complete your, um, lunch time with uh, playing the candy crush or something this is a purpose okay you every game has these three things so we are focused on this intrinsic rewarding this is the third theory i am sharing with you guys uh, from gabe zikerman i just show you gabe zikerman he called the gamification 75 percentage of uh, psychology so he used a rewarding as a game rewarding not extrinsic but you can give people stuff like a card like a certificate like a badges like a hat it could be interesting okay the second one you need to give people a power for example if someone entered this session and if they cannot able to their webcam if you give permission to talk if you give permission to open their uh, webcam that that's a power that's a power in community, okay? Make a presentation, um, decided um, product of week, this kind of decided things to make people give to another people. And access, it is very important, like, you know, lunch with CEO or playing in the commercial of this company or decided which um, uh, product going to be using in this next week, this kind of, access not for everyone but for spatial people okay we call it access it's very important for us too and the top of it the interesting rewarding subs model it called status give people a good status that they can able to access something have some power to other people and show that with the stuff with a cart with a badge with a hat whatever this is the status of Gabe Zikerman, please note that. And these are not things with earning by cash. Gabe says the subs model, you cannot buy um, cash with a lunch CEO. Okay. You shouldn't buy 
uh, playing that companies or visiting the company's fabric uh, with cash. You shouldn't do that. Okay. Uh, these are all without money, intrinsic motivation. It's, it's going to be talked about um, during this time period. I mean, for an agile community, I am going to ask to visit management 3.0. The guy called, let me show the, sorry, let me show this uh, website and the name of guy, Jurgen Appello. Uh, he's an agile coach and he used game, gamification in every project in his uh, life. Please visit that um, website and don't focus on technology. Don't focus on technology. Don't. You don't need at the beginning of the technology. You need a persona, persona. You need to be real motivational problem. You need to just cards like a Kudo, Kudo cards or online cards. I will going to show you. If you are not able to visit your company because of the COVID, you can do in online that too. And um, just try to find a real motivational problem at your company, and just put this card and point system without technology and try to be increase that like i'm going to show you from left part it's what we did with a very small budget for example to just give an example and we just translate to do this today uh, to word wall it was a physical wheel reward wheel when you um, make a sales you just wheel that too but we put into the digital right now so it's still live so please find a target and find a physical solution that try to be update to do digital solution. But if you put something which is not working to the world, well, world well is not going to be help you. Technology is not going to be help you. Okay, guys, you need to be find a motivational problem. You try to solve with physical things, then you, if you decided to make it the technology at the technology part, then you can add the technology part. This is the last example from my slides uh, in this uncertain time. Um, we, we find, uh, I'm, I'm doing a consultancy uh, e-commerce company and they have a process called missing product. Probably you can imagine that. Someone um, orders something like seven product, for example, shoes, hat, t-shirt, and so one of them, if it's one of them missing, that will be a crazy moment in, in the company. So that was a very scary and very unmotivational process they had with stick actually, and with punishment and I don't know, very scary deadlines on that too. I advise them to do why you call this process in this period, Ghostbusters. If someone see that product, they can see, I see a ghost and someone go to the there and take that product from there to the, put to the real line, they became Ghostbusters. And we put this to the, their, uh, we create some badges for them and we play a music of that. Maybe you can remember. When someone, some finding a product, it became more enjoyable. It, we can dance each other not scary deadlines, not count times and uh, email to CEO, something like that, you know, CTO or something. We just tried to gamify it with uh, this ghost button and it worked. And we did with this, with this uh, uncertain times, let me say this way. So thanks for this opportunity to Depti. And let me say this way, um, my, my game is over the, right now and if you, wanted to follow me and if you wanted to any question about what i shared right now um please reach me and i am very happy to answer uh, with my knowledge and yes i share mostly in turkish but uh, most of them are all about gamification so please follow me and please reach me and thanks for everyone thank you erkan so now we have you know good five six minutes open for questions just in case anybody has any questions yes awesome so i think uh, we are good here 
and the best and beautiful part is Elkan. You also gave, you know, this entire set of knowledge, uh, not just within the time box, but within a language which was uh, absolutely great for everyone. There is one question where Yasser is asking, uh, what is a gaming framework for beginners? Uh, I can advise D6 model and I can advise a courser, a course, let me give you a link. Yeah, if you wanted to continue some uh, knowledge think, uh, for that. Do you think... Uh, uh, I just text. I just add to text. Okay. Okay. D6, D6 model is a great way to understand gamification framework. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Awesome. So thank you very much, Erkan. And, and I'm sure uh, we'll share the contact details for all of our game tenders. And uh, all of our gamers will be able to reach out to you. Yeah. Thank you so much. So, so Erkan, uh, very quickly. Thank you for the session. It was quite informative. And uh, the good thing is I learned a couple of Turkish words from your slides. So so that worked out well, you know. So so it was a double knowledge for me. Couple of Turkish words from the slides plus the gamification knowledge as well. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. If anyone sure. visit Istanbul in, I don't know, after this uh, period of COVID, Please call me, give me a call, and I really like to be uh, join India and be there too. Hopefully, in in two thousand twenty one. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah. So the so guess is at least August will be a window where it will be open for all of us. So hopefully. we very much look forward to you know have you here. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So guys, uh, before we all run for our five minutes bio break or uh, grab a coffee break, or you can actually put your BMR forward. Uh, I wanted to tell you, now we will have three parallel tracks in the program sheet you can see, and you can also confirm if my audio is okay. Uh, and so in the program sheet you can see, there are three distinct uh, games and all of them have different purposes. So you can actually choose the game you want. You have Zoom links there, join here if you can see, and you just click and you join with those links. and. Uh, and so in it, I love, you know, the uh, aura you have on your head. Lovely. <laughs> so, yeah, and all these three games will start for, for Indians. It is 8.35, and which leaves us with good 10 minutes. Uh, if it leaves us with good 10 minutes break, do we want to quickly jump on to a networking round so that we all just, you know, break some ice with each other? Let yeah, me do that. Yeah, That'll be good. good? Perfect. Yeah. It's a, it's a uh, strong five minutes time box and you go and you share about your name and uh, your secret power and your secret identity. So for example, if I have to say uh, my secret power is definitely to connect everyone and co-create uh, amazing events like this, you know, my name, DC Jen. And uh, if I have to tell you my secret identity, it doesn't have to be a connector. I'm a bathroom singer and I really sing well. <laughs> So, you guys go to the Zoom, have some fun. I'm going to put, uh, you know, three to four people in one room so that you have enough time to introduce each other. Yeah? Perfect. Yeah. Go, jump in. And I'll pull you out in five minutes. 